Okay, so we're going to start with opening up text editor. Uh, you know where text editor is. If you recall, we showed you that in the introduction. There you go. So what I've done, I've opened it up and I've actually written about eight lessons. Um, so I've written about eight examples. So I'm going to open the first example and just go through it with you. Just a bit of fast track intro into PHP scripting. So first of all we start up uh, with a HTML tag, HTML and then uh, that's inside the tag which is less than and greater than brackets and uh, for those that haven't done HTML before when you open a tag you then close it so here once you finish with the script you close it just like that so what you do is you just simply put the backslash uh, just after the bracket and that's just closing the tag uh, likewise we have body so we're gonna close the body here as well once you finished with it and again we have here the head head stands for the top section of the browser just up there so uh, we, we've got the head and we have something called the title which gives it a title at the top so you'll see these words at the top right at the top it says uh, my first PHP script that would appear at the top of the browser once we we run this script and the same way we close off the tag title by putting the backslash uh, just after the bracket there and the same way we close the head far, uh, the head tag as well in HTML so we, we, what I'm showing you here is a mix between PHP and HTML in, in one um, file okay so now what we do after we've opened the body uh, we start with another tag and this time we want to create bold okay so we want to do a bold so what we do is it's uh, it's the brackets again and a B which stands for bold I stands for italic yeah so you got the idea uh, so we, we want to make it bold and uh, what we, we do now is we open up the PHP script if you remember the intro I've always used uh, these tags okay and uh, we, we have here a, a command or a statement called echo which is very similar to printf so if we have printf if you remember C programming so obviously that's going to be ignored by the interpreter or if you want you know something similar to a compiler but what it does it interprets the lines okay so this is equivalent to that okay so now what we I'm gonna delete that section because we don't need it this here is another HTML tag called BR BR stands for uh, line break or break so it's, it makes it creates a new line and uh, again I'm just gonna put another line break I'm gonna use HTML okay so that's the two there uh, two line breaks and now we close the PHP tag here and uh, that's it so that's the program and it's supposed to say hello world and then hello world again but this time using the function called print the function print does exactly the same as the echo statement okay that looks a little bit more familiar to printf doesn't it but without the f so that does exactly the same thing and that's here printf is used in C programming so you've got the idea now of how that would work I'm just going to use this space here just to give you a quick intro on um, on tags right so when you start in PHP you start with the less than and the question mark and you close it with question mark and greater than okay that's PHP ASP you do the same but you do a percent and percent again that's ASP okay uh, PHP again there's another way you can actually write the same thing but now you put PHP in front so it tells the interpreter that it's a PHP code that you that was 
compulsory in the earlier versions of PHP uh, interpreter but now it's no longer important to do that but we'll do it so just for completeness we'll, we'll write that out as well so that's PHP again and there's an, the other way we could uh, well now let me show you um, HTML so you got less than and you put HTML that's how you start the HTML script and you close it with HTML again like that and all HTML is is just collection of tags um, so that basically to start HTML uh, that there P is to, and close P again that one's paragraph okay in HTML uh, bold so you know how to there's another one that creates a bold in HTML um, what else you want to know about uh, so that that one there h1 is like a title a header a head uh, title in large font okay so there's all these uh, h1 h2 h3 and so on until h7 which is just like different title headers that you can use um, so yeah so there's quite quite a bit of uh, HTML tags and we'll cover it as we go along and when we use it we'll, uh, we'll actually show it, we'll actually explain what it does because we'll be mixing HTML with PHP when we need to do something dynamic we'll use PHP when we need to format the page we'll use HTML and we'll mix and match between the two okay there's another one we can use called script that's another way of starting a PHP script. You put the script language just like that and then equals PHP and you close it off like that. We can copy this as well just to give you an idea. That's actually how you start a JavaScript as well. Tag and that one's PHP. Again, so that that one here, you can start the PHP script that way. You start it off with this and you end it with that to end the script uh, or you can use this one start it that way and end it with that or you can use that one start it with that and you close it with that okay and in HTML you start it with that and you close with this okay so now you, you've got an idea I'm gonna clear all this off because we're not we don't need it in the program and just quick scan of the program. Yep, it looks fine. I'm going to save it again. And I'm going to go to Global Scape, which is Qt FTP 8.2. And I'm just going to go into PHP Lessons. I'm going to copy Lesson 1 again. Just overwrite it. Overwrite. Before I, I run, I just want to show you how you can actually edit into in Qt FTP as well you right click on the mouse and you brings that menu and you click on edit and it would open up in here the editor of Qt FTP that's exactly the same program as what we wrote in text editor same thing so okay and then press enter and it tells us access forbidden now why does it tell us access forbidden is because I haven't set the attributes I've actually locked the site uh, what we're actually developing and I'm just going to open it up for you so we can actually start to see the actual code. Let me go to umacom.com, click on that, and then click on properties here, and it gives us the attributes. As you can see, the public can't actually see it, so we have to put read and we have to put execute. And we say apply. Here we go. So that's lesson. So that's the lesson one. So I'm just going to click on that it says hello world hello world twice and that's all it, it was going to do we're just using two different methods the first one was echo and the second one was print so you can choose which one you want to use but mainly in most of the examples we're going to be using the echo uh, 